This is my preferred option is to use a bucket. A lot of people use a shovel, but I, I like the bucket. I've been using cotton seeds since about 1985 in, the, in drought. A lot of my uh, days end with a sunset. I'm out doing meals on wheels, feeding three and a half thousand sheep. So we tend not to lose many stocks, especially sheep, through the drought if we're feeding them well, but our biggest problem is when the rain comes. They get, they get boggy. It's, it's very often they're cold, they're, they're cold and wet, and that tends to be where you get your losses. When you own livestock, you're going to have a few deaths. That's just, that's just normal husbandry. If you've got a bit in reserve and you feed your animals, there's no, there, you know, there are still some good sales around. There are still people in a raging drought that are um, either lot feeding their stock and still making reasonable sales and still turning a dollar over. I'm feeding them about a kilo, a, a, I'm feeding about three kilos a week. At the end of the day, I'm a realist. If, uh, if it gets too serious and, and I can, I won't, I, if I can sell at reasonable prices, I'll, I'll keep offloading stock. I think it's, it's, it's affecting a lot of people uh, health-wise. You put things off. I'm sort of held, held together with Velcros and <laughs> knees and backs and things, and that's just what you do. It will rain one day, and uh, yeah, that's when we need to put a few photos to show what it's like in a good time while we, while we struggle through the drought. Paradise is here. It just, uh, it's just a bit brown at the moment. The place is in mourning. <laughs> Pretty much end of story. Authorised by Malcolm Turnbull, Liberal Party of Australia, Sydney.